The Indian digital payment app Paytm has come under fire. India's central bank has slapped restrictions on Paytm. What exactly are these restrictions? When will they come into play? How will they affect you? Should you be worried? Let's unpack all of this and more. The Reserve Bank of India has imposed curbs on Paytm Payments Bank Limited. After February 29th, the Payments Bank will no longer be able to operate its mobile wallet. It has also been barred from taking further deposits, credit transactions, or top-ups. This applies to all customer accounts, prepaid instruments, wallets, fast tags, or national common mobility cards. However, the users will still be able to withdraw or use their balances in these accounts without restrictions. Now, what exactly is the Paytm Payment Bank? Does it have anything to do with your everyday UPI payments? In simple terms, the Paytm Payment Bank is a virtual bank where you can open a savings account. You can hold up to 2 lakh rupees in this account. You can also get a digital debit card, get interest on your savings, and even open a fixed deposit. Users don't even need to maintain a minimum balance. For years, millions of Indians have been enjoying the benefits of the Paytm payment bank from the convenience of their mobile phones without the hassle of any paperwork, but not anymore. The payment bank's operations have been largely restricted. Most importantly, users will not be able to transfer funds or make UPI payments. Now, let's be clear. The curbs are only for Paytm payment bank accounts. The UPI payments on Paytm app will not be affected because they will be done using different bank accounts. So, should you be worried? If you are someone who uses a Paytm payment bank account regularly, then yes, you will not be able to deposit more funds or even transfer them. So, what options will you have as a user? Paytm says it will transfer all Paytm payments bank accounts to other banks. And how long will that take? How seamless would that process be? We don't know. Only time will tell. Users can still look for alternatives for personal use. But what about the merchants? You know, the vegetable sellers, the street vendors, the shopkeepers. What happens when these merchants will be asked to move their accounts from the Paytm payment bank to some other one? Won't Paytm lose the credibility and confidence that it has enjoyed for years? One of Paytm's strengths has been its strong relationship with merchants. It was cemented via many products and services Paytm offers with in-house banking. But that will now be gone. How will Paytm convince its merchants to link another bank account to their UPI address instead of the Paytm payment bank account? And even if some of the merchants agree to do so, they may also have to change their QR codes. They will have to get new QR codes and paste them on their soundbox devices. Yes, the ones that you see at payment counters every day. Isn't all of this going to be a hassle? Is it more likely that they turn away from Paytm altogether? There are, after all, plenty of other options out there in the market, like Google Pay, Phone Pay, Beam UPI. Now, how and why did things reach this point? The RBI says it had warned the platform well in advance. In March 2022, it asked the Paytm Payments Bank to stop adding new customers. But according to audit reports, Paytm did not pay any heed to the warnings. There were persistent non-compliance and supervisory concerns. And two years on, the Paytm Payments Bank is facing the consequences. How badly is it going to be affected is the question. In the worst case scenario, the company expects to lose 500 crore rupees in its annual earnings. That is some $60.2 million. The effect is already visible as far as the stock market is concerned, by the way. Paytm stocks plunged 20%. What comes next? Will Paytm survive this nightmare? We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.